So we're going to do a breath that helps to release things from the body. So especially when we're doing energy work or we're drumming, a lot of times we can feel this built up pressure that doesn't seem to get out. Now, anytime you're experiencing a release in energy work or you're performing it or you are drumming yourself, I always recommend keeping your mouth nice and open because it allows anything that's pent up here in the core to come out. Now, the core of our body is where our self-identity is. It's where the I am exists. So it's where we know ourselves. So the more energy that's pent up there, the less we know ourselves, the more distorted we become. So allowing that energy to move up and out is gonna be powerful. This is a very similar breath too because it can also allow energies to move up and out or down and out. So if you've had a few babies, just be mindful of this that you might need to practice this on the toilet. <laughs> But release is a release and all release is so beautiful and celebrated. So you're gonna breathe in really deep and then you're gonna breathe out with short breaths. So it looks a lot like this. As you're breathing out, you notice that you're pushing out from your core. Now you can push through the heart, through the throat, and it's allowing movement to go. So if you, in Envision a piece of you that doesn't belong anymore. Envision maybe some anxiety or some insecurity because those highly impact that core solar plexus of who you are. And as you breathe out, you envision pushing from the solar plexus up through the heart and then up through the throat and out the mouth. Another way you can do this is you breathe in here and you push it out the bottom of you feeling the push through the belly, all the way down and out through the womb space. This is where I say, some of us who have had a few babies, we may notice that we are a little moist there later, which is okay, you're releasing. The idea is to force the air out of your body. Now you can choose to focus and force it both ways, but the idea is to clear that core. So breathing in, and then you can speed it up. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't make you choke, but sometimes it can move a lot of energies. I also recommend opening up and doing your Kali tongue if you feel like you want to. Now, I don't recommend doing a whole lot of these at once because it can cause you to hyperventilate but it does have a tendency to release energy, add flushing to your cheeks, and even in a tingling sensation if you do it for quite often. But I wouldn't recommend doing it for more than 30 seconds at a time because you really wanna activate and move the energy and keep your mind focused on what you're moving. So thank you for breathing with me. Excited to see you move it. Mahali Hope with The Beauty of Perspective. <laughs>